Good afternoon, Paranerds. I hope your day is going absolutely fantastic, and I welcome you back to the 31 Days of Halloween. We are continuing our series, of which I am reviewing 31 of my favorite horror films, and I hope you are enjoying the ride. Today, we are going to be talking about a crazy B-movie that honestly took me by surprise. Uh, I didn't, I've never seen, the, I hadn't seen the movie. I decided to buy it on a whim. And I absolutely love this film. And today we're talking about... That's the ghost of Colin Childress. 30 years ago, he butchered a woman with an axe and then set himself on fire. It's dark. It's gloomy. It's filled with terror. <laughs> Don't even think about going down there. So why can't people stay out of the cellar? I love to be frightened. If you love to be frightened, then this cellar is the place to be. Innocent woman is terrorized. Her life becomes a nightmare when she won't stay out of the basement and is snared by the evil cellar dweller. This movie right here. You can see it. Cellar Dweller. I found this Blu-ray from uh, the Chow Factory. Uh, actually, their division of Scream Factory. I love Scream Factory. They do such a great job with these. I'm going to be showcasing a lot more Scream Factory titles and I want to definitely uh, give them props because they are fantastic people. They do such a great job. The transfer qualities are fantastic. Uh, Cellar Dweller was great. The, the, the quality, I couldn't believe it. it. The HD quality was amazing. I was so happy to see that. Today we're talking about Cellar Dweller. So what is Cellar Dweller? Well, 30 years have passed since the grisly murder-suicide of Colin Childress, creator of the comic book Cellar Dweller. Flash forward years later and comic artist Whitney Taylor, a huge fan of Childress, ends up staying in the house where all that went down. The house is a refuge for artists run by a queen bitch of a woman who is not fond of Whitney at all. Not only does she have to deal with queen bitch, her worst enemy is also staying at the house. To distance herself from these issues, she argues, can I work in the cellar? I'll be away from everyone. I won't be as stressed. You won't have many problems with me. So the queen bitch says, fine, whatever, get out of here. Uh, so Whitney ends up working in the cellar where Childress did all his work and where the murder-suicide happened. But little does she know it wasn't a murder-suicide. Something else happened. And in order to find out, you'll have to watch this movie. This movie, it took me by surprise. I was so happy to watch this movie because the, the special effects for the monster, for, you can, it's a low-budget movie, but they were fantastic. Like, it looked so real. Like some people say, oh, it's cuddly and it's cute. I can kind of see that, but it's it's really not. When this creature does what it does, holy crap. <laughs> like the sound design, it was creepy as hell for this thing. The twist at the end, you sort of see coming, but it was still pretty damn good. I cannot stress this enough. The fucking creature looks awesome. It was obviously my second favorite part of the movie because my first favorite part was the cameo by Jeffrey Combs. That's right. Jeffrey Combs has a cameo in this movie. He plays Colin Childress and he gave it his all. Jeffrey Combs playing Buck 
asking Colin Childress as Jeffrey Combs does. I love Jeffrey Combs. I got a chance to meet him. I didn't, I was too nervous to meet him. I didn't get a really chance to talk to him about some things because obviously Jeffrey Combs, reanimator from beyond, H.P. Lovecraft, Necronomicon, just to name a few. I love Jeffrey Combs, fantastic actor. I really wish I would have opened my mouth and said something. All I did was I was like, here, sign this, please. Thanks. When I first started going to conventions and getting autographs, now I sit and I'll, I'll talk to the people because they're people. Talk to them. They'll talk to you back. I love it. If I get a chance to meet Jeffrey Combs again, I definitely want to ask him about this movie because it, to me it was so much fun. I loved it. It was... You can tell that's that's where all the budget <laughs> was put into the creature effects. 100%. That's where everything did. That's where all that money went because it looks so damn good. To me it does. I think it looks fantastic. And the storyline, it's pretty simple, but it keeps you engaged. It doesn't take too long to get to. It's only about 79 minutes. Hey, fantastic. What a way to kill about an hour and a half. Right? It'll creep you out. The sound design of what the creature does. I got chills when I watched it. There are some pretty funny moments. The comic artists, like the, the actual art is, is amazing. Like they did a great job with the art. They did a great job with the sound design, set design. Uh, the acting is pretty decent. You got you got Jeffrey Combs. That's fucking good. Everyone else did a you know they did their best. Uh, it was you know. Excuse me, sorry. It was a fun movie. To me, they did a great job of it. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of behind the scenes facts or fun. It's just it was a B movie. There wasn't anything super impressive that I wanted to specifically talk about. Um, so that's why I decided I wanted to focus on the creature and Jeffrey Combs. Uh, the actress who plays Whitney Taylor does it. She does a good job, and she gives it her all. The woman that plays the queen bitch, you will hate this woman. And she, and she does a great job. She's a fantastic actress. She does a great job making you hate her. All in all, uh, I give this film... I give it three and a half. I want to give it four. If it had been a little bit longer and maybe the kills would have been a bit gorier. That's the one thing about this movie. Like, like it, what the creature does, it creeps you out. But there weren't, like, the blood splatter really wasn't there. There wasn't, like, af like you didn't really see the aftermath or anything. You, you, you saw a few things, which I don't want to spoil because I want you to watch this movie. Uh, that really, you know, like, oh, creepy, like, cool. But, um, it, and I think if they could have brought Jeffrey Combs back, maybe as a ghost or something to help fight the monster, like, give him a little more screen time, I, I would have given this a four out of five. But I'm going to give it a three and a half out of five. Uh, the the Blu-ray print, the, the the HD transfer and all that, I cannot gush about enough. Uh, Shout Factory and Scream Factory did an absolute fantastic job. I, I, love, I loved this movie. I was not expecting to love this movie. I know, three and a half, boo. I still think three and a half is a, it's a solid B+. I was an average student. I took I got C's all my life. Shit, that's what, a three out of five? three and a half I'll take it fuck yeah I did not expect to fall in love with this movie it was a lot of fun to me and it would be a lot of fun for you check this movie out Thank you so much for watching thank you for continuing with me with through the 31 days of Halloween and as you can see look I'm not in a car. No more car videos for now. You don't have to see part of a steering wheel blocking me. No, I've got my King Kong poster, which my sister got me, which I fucking love. I love my sister so much. Thank you so much for that. I got my paranormal books behind me. Over here, you can't see, but my Blu-ray collection and my DVD collection. 
I will be showcasing those very soon. Oh yes, I will. Over there, uh, my messy ass bed where me and my dog sleep is right here. But there's a little more room, you can see a lot more. A lot better setup, and I hope you are enjoying it. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, we live in a weird world. Remember, we truly live in a weird world. So go out and experience it. I hope your day is fantastic and continues to be.